I just got my cappuccino and Rebecca of Bloomers and Frocks just arrived to her adorable store. I snuck a peek when I dropped off my luggage. So I have known Rebecca online for many years. She followed Sammy Davis Vintage way back in the dark ages. But this is our first in-person meeting. I think it's so cool. The internet brings people together. It's like our energy just in a digital way connects us and there's there's no way to avoid it. Just eventually we find each other on the World Wide Web. So I'm really looking forward to meeting Rebecca and seeing what her store is all about. I got you! You look fabulous. Thank you. Are you it's, filming? I am filming. I am filming. This is just it's a quick moment. Look. This is a moment of a shopkeep sweeping yes. the front walk. Doing everything. <laughs> with love and passion and great fashion. I am so excited. I am standing out front of Bloomers and Crocs. It's a fabulous vintage boutique specializing in garments from the 20s until the 80s here in Austin, Texas. I've known the chief clothing curator, Rebecca, since 2010 when she started selling vintage online. She opened the shop in 2016. And when I knew I was coming down to Austin, she was my number one pick for a store to profile. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna meet Rebecca. We're gonna learn more about how she started the store, the pieces she carries, her inspiration, and she's gonna choose a few vintage garments for me to try on so you guys can see how they look and you can vote for your favorite in the end. So let's go meet Rebecca and spread some vintage love. So Rebecca, tell me more about you, how you started with vintage, and the birth of bloomers and frocks. Sure, well, actually my grandma used to sell vintage jewelry at flea markets when I was a kid, so I kind of grew up around it. Then I ventured off into the real world and worked in nonprofit and government work and economic development and small business development and worked with tons of vintage owners here in Austin. I don't know if you know, but we are kind of like a vintage capital here. We're pretty amazing. We have 30 vintage shops right here in Austin. I didn't know there were 30. There are 30. Um, oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> And so working with them, I just kind of got to know the business and I had a mentor in the business and I traded her kind of marketing knowledge and she traded me vintage knowledge and it was a great relationship and I happened to be in upstate New York at an estate sale waiting at a wedding and just browsed and found all this vintage and my business was born. My vintage comes from Colorado, Michigan, throughout Texas, California, like it comes from all over the U.S. Wow. And we really curate to get the best of the vintage. Uh, everything you find on the racks won't be stained, damaged, holes, and it's all been professionally cleaned. Let's take a look at some of your pieces. Perfect. Is this amazing 70s pantsuit. It's a jumpsuit. Gasp! Isn't that amazing? I had a bride try this on, and it, this, this needs to be worn to a wedding. Or a rehearsal dinner, or something amazing. The cream and gold together, phenomenal. If I were getting married anytime soon, I would have an outfit change into this after the dress. This would be my dance floor dress. <laughs> oh, I can see you rocking this, Sammy. Bo boogie boogie <laughs> on the dance floor. Love it. I Okay, so I especially love details um, around the neckline and this like kind of embroidered gold thread. But this is incredibly special. You don't find this on new garments unless you're buying something that's designer quality. And this is a linen. Yes. That is lovely. That is like a linen jumpsuit instead of a uh, linen suit. And it has some awesome 
kind of flared Ali chiffon covering chiffon covering that gives it a very dressy appeal so i really want to try this one rebecca so sammy one of my favorite pieces in the shop is this 1920s embroidered blouse Ooh. it is a sheer cotton it is absolutely stunning on and it's one of those pieces that you know it's almost a hundred years old and the great thing about this is you can pair it with something totally unexpected like, I don't know, a bling, gold bling. skirt. Yes. And we can totally accessorize that so you don't look little house on the prairie, but look modern chic. Okay, that's, first of all, that's a great line. <laughs> no little house on the prairie unless it's like on trend. This blouse, if, you know, I was, I was looking at it, it does not look 20s at all. Like, I've seen a lot of 20s garments. I've collected them from, you know, estate sales and um, like theater shops going under and they're just decaying and falling apart. This looks like brand new maybe 10 years old if that so this is an amazing piece it's been and well preserved i'm wearing a leopard bra today so we might see a little bit of tiger action or With leopard action mm. yeah yeah so this is this is such you know this is such almost like a high low look for vintage where you're pairing the 80s and the 90s with the 20s 30s 40s and making it work exactly love that i'm excited all right, so Rebecca, I want to see some of your favorite pieces from this rack. This store is massive, by the way. Like, it's <laughs> how many garments do you think are in the store? Um, gosh, I don't even know. I, sh I should probably do some inventory. <laughs> she should probably be able to know that there's there's probably five hundred, probably five hundred plus mm -hmm. in clothing, and then probably another thousand items in jewelry. Oh wow! And if I don't have it here, I have a secret storage unit. Secret storage. Don't tell my husband. Shh. <laughs> I don't know if we want to edit that into the video. Um, but these, this appears to be like, is this like a 50s rack? Explain how you merchandise. So we do by color and because we are in Austin, Texas, it is so hot year round. So we always try to find natural fibers. So we find um, cottons and linen. So this is kind of our 50s, 60s. There's some 70s and 80s in here, but cotton linen day dresses that are just super easy to wear. Some easy to throw on, throw a belt with it and throw on your flip flops and you're ready to go in Austin with style. Awesome. I want to see some of your favorite garments okay, so from this rack. This is one of my favorite ones because there's a big misconception that vintage is only for smaller girls. And one of my favorite designers from the 60s is Shelton Stroller. And this is just a simple, easy shirt dress to wear. And it's a larger size. This one's, uh, it says 20 on it, but that's deceiving. So something we do here in Bloomers and Frocks is we put the um, actual bust, waist, and hip measurements on the tags to help you shop. So this one's an extra, extra, extra large. I'm a modern size 14, this fits me. So curvy girls can shop in here too. She's gonna find me something that's 50s. You know what? This one's gonna be close. I'm gonna pull this one for you, Sammy, because I know how much you love the 80s. But this oh is a 50s that they redid in the 80s. Oh so let's get you the original God. and look at the jacket that goes over it. Look at the jacket. This jacket is something that you can wear on its own as we well. You can see the sleeves on. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those pieces, like, I'm looking at it right now, and, and the jacket almost looks like a raincoat. Exactly. But I know that it's going to look so good on the body because, again, I have more experience. So when you guys are shopping vintage and you're like, oh, I don't know about that, just give it a chance. Just like you want to give peace a chance. Like, give vintage a chance and try it on because you never know how it's actually going to lay on your body as opposed to the hanger. So. Let's try this one on. I would never have pulled this one for myself, so I'm curious to see what this looks like on. Perfect. Awesome! So the fitting room is behind me. I have about four pieces to try on that I picked and that Rebecca picked for me. So let's go see what they look like on. Excited, so Sammy, come on out. Ah! And I just shook the whole store. <laughs> So guys, this is that um, 1970s yes. wedding dress. Here, come, come. Come, <laughs> come in the shot. Join us, Rebecca. This is the 1970s look. It's actually pants. It's a jumpsuit. It is fantastic. Um, it's just how like, does it feel on? Like, like butter. Your eyes light up in yeah. it. I love it. Yeah, like butter. This is one of those pieces, again, I think it's a designer piece. Like, whatever the cost is here at the store, is probably a seventh of the cost that it would be at like Nordstrom's or Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue. This embroidered gold action is what I really like. Yes. Yeah, and it's very clean line, so it doesn't look vintage. Again, this is just something that's just very, very, very classic. Um, and if you want to pull it off, everyone says 
you look fabulous. I'm gonna go try on that 1950s. Yes, that midnight blue 1950s dress. The midnight blue 1950s dress. So this is totally two thumbs up, but let's go see what that dress looks like. Midnight blue on. I can't wait to see it. Voila. Oh my goodness, look at yeah. that taffeta. Okay, this this jacket did not look I, I, I knew this was happening first of all guys, so I'm not I'm not gonna play with you. I knew it would look better on the body than it did on the hanger, but again, this is evidence that sometimes you just have to try things on. Um, the sleeves are crazy. I don't even know what to call the style of sleeve. It's almost witchy, isn't it? It look is almost like witchy. This point right here. Like honestly, I would pull this jacket off, throw on um, black leggings or like a black hat yeah. suit underneath this, and yeah. then make this your statement piece. How yeah. phenomenal would that be? Right, right, right. And it has just like a little bit of shine, and it's it's super light and like feels water resistant, even though I wouldn't wear it probably outside in the in, in the rain. I just love and, that sound of taffeta. Yeah, the sound of it. And the dress is perfect. It's su super flattering. It's the best length for like a formal dress if you want to spin around. And yeah, I, I I really like it. I think that the dress I normally wouldn't buy or wear, I like it with the jacket, but the jacket for sure is a super modern piece. It's, like you said, like, yes. like- I love that you can get two looks or you know more yeah. with it because it just depends on how you pair things. Totally, totally. It just, it, it's kind of like with vintage, you're never ever wearing like a streamlined outfit. You're just mixing and matching all the time. So I love this. this awesome. Cool. This is cool. Becca. I'm wearing the bondage dress. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite look, Sammy. I love it! Oh, it's so good! It is so good! I've never seen anything like this before in my life. Like seriously, and I've seen a lot of vintage in my days. I feel like I'm wearing a tourniquet, but it works. Very patriotic, very subtle. Um, little booty wiggle. I love this dress, and Rebecca has some This is one of my favorite pieces. Come on so, in. This one is a 1980s Monet necklace, oh, Super Girls Revival. Oh. So the great thing is you can slide it over your head. I feel like a queen right now. Oh, it feels so cold and nice and metally. And it's just the perfect accent to this. Yeah, I'm seeing myself in the mirror ahead of, ahead of me, guys, and this gold against the white is like, mm, so good. You know what I love the most about this necklace, Sammy? Yeah. Is that it's actually a necklace and a bracelet. So a there, bracelet? Yes. There, you can actually pull some links off and you can wear it shorter or and then wear it as a bracelet with it. And I'll, I'll take it off and show you here in a moment. Or you can wear it with the full length. Okay, that is vintage jewelry in a nutshell. All right, guys, I love this dress. I kind of want to take it home with me. But there's one more look that Rebecca chose for me. It's that 1920s blouse and the gold skirt. So let's go see what that looks on. Rebecca, I love this. Are you ready? I am so ready. Oh let's see it. Okay, all right. Golden Girls, oh yes. Oh my goodness, this looks yeah. so good. You I, know what will complete this? A belt. A belt. I was, I was thinking the same thing because we need to tuck it in a little bit. And I like how it's it's actually wide. It's not super thick. That's perfect. Look at this. This is gonna be so okay. good. Do it. Belt me up, baby. Let's see. How do yeah. you feel in this? I feel like people are gonna holler at me if I walked down the street. Like <laughs> this, like little 1920s top, totally unexpected. Um, my leopard print bra clearly showing through, but in a good way. It's, right? Yeah, it is. It pulls it together. Yeah, it really pulls it together. And if, you, if you're a little bit more reserved, you can always wear a cami under that. Do some white girl tw twerking, because I, I can't. I tried. <laughs> All right, so guys, I love that Rebecca has so many accessories in her store. I am a ring wearer. I only wear this ring, though, consistently, so I want to see if Rebecca has another ring that I love that could go with this look as well. So let's go check out the rings. Perfect. So Sammy, here's just part of our selection of the rings. Okay. And I think there are some really great ones for you. Um, I, because you have the gold theme, you could do something like this. Ooh, here, let me see A little off. bit of rhinestone. Let's see. Ooh, I like. But. Part of the nail polish, guys. I didn't have a chance to remove it. I love your over the top style. So I think that yeah. was just a little, um, not quite your flavor. I would actually suggest oh my gosh. the hawk. Is it, is this a hawk or an eagle? That's a great because question. If it's, oh, it fits perfectly. Oh my God, I love it. Because if it's an eagle, um, I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan, so that's crazy. But look, this guy has little green eyes, and if it's a hawk, it's a very spiritual animal. I mean, eagles as well, but 
This is super funky. Like you don't find this new. This is err. But doesn't that go amazing. great with what you're wearing? Uh yeah. Yeah, you can't mess with me when you're wearing a hawk or an eagle um ring. I like that one too. These are great. Ah Oh, I want that. Sammy? Yeah. I have to show you my favorite thing on the show. Oh, okay. I know you're looking at rings. And if we paired this outfit with a little black top instead of this white top, and you're, you brought, brought the inspiration, these are 1980s shoulder <gasps> brooches. What? They have two pins on them, and they go right over your shoulder. Why have I never ever heard of something like this before in my entire life? And pair that on a little black top, and it's phenomenal. Yeah. Or a little black dress, that's the only accessory you need. I just, I just kind of want to like rub his head, like he's like a little pet on my shoulder. But you just hang out with that guy because if that guy isn't quite your cup of tea, There's maybe the lizard is. Get out of town. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a little zoo right now. I'm the vintage zoo. <laughs> like critters are so back in yes, right now too. Critters, all about the critters. This is crazy. Again, like I've never seen even on the runway a duplication of this. So. Fascinating. Yes. Rebecca knows her stuff. Ah! <laughs> I had so much fun filming with Rebecca and checking out Bloomers and Frocks for the first time in person. Absolutely loving this last look and all of the great jewelry that she has. I'm just super inspired, feeling like I want to go home and completely change my wardrobe and just incorporate even more vintage into my life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look around the store and see what else is here, but we're going to head over and get some tacos and really do it the Austin way. And then I'm going to head to my next vintage store location. I'm so excited. I am taking home my dead stock booty shorts from the 70s that fit perfectly and it was a great deal and I love supporting local vintage fashion. Alright guys, I've got my Werther's Originals candy because we've been filming all morning and I'm starving. So we're going to go out, we're going to get some tacos. I have changed into this outfit that I bought at a vintage store in San Antonio, which is either an episode before this one or an episode coming up in the future. Love this look, and we're gonna go check out Revival Vintage and see what the rest of Austin has in store. All right, that's adorable. My Mexican coat. <laughs> Oh, they're so good. Usually don't do this on camera, but when in Austin, yum. Oh my god, it's so good.